So these poor uh, ski rolls have been sitting here for about four or five years. Haven't even touched them. No idea what type of really condition they're in anymore, but uh, I think it's time to pull one of them out and see if I can get it going. I know the top one I robbed some parts off of for the bottom one years ago. So I don't think uh, the top one has much hope of running again right now, but the bottom one should work with a bit of work. This thing is just covered in dust. Watch this. <laughs> I'm already getting excited to go for a ride now. He still turns, that's good. Hopefully this fuel is not terrible, which it probably is. So I don't have too high hopes of this thing just starting up at all. tether cord on when I was snow cross racing this thing. Forgot to mention, uh, if anyone doesn't uh, remember what this thing is, it's a 1971 ski rule RT500. It's got the Sax 440 in it with a uh, Acuni, I think it's a 38 mil carb conversion I did on it years ago. It's all rusted out here in the front. I remember hitting a tree with this in this corner. I'll uh, pull the dust off and see what it looks like. I always ran a uh, premium in this thing, so hopefully the fuel's decent, maybe. I'll probably have to drain it in anyway, but just gonna give it a smell and see what I think. <laughs> yeah, it smells pretty old. Guess I'm gonna drain it out and put some new fuel in. Can't find my transfer siphon, so I guess I'm just gonna pull the tank right out and dump the fuel out. See if I can get this line off. There we go. That line's on some some uh, fuel line here. I'm gonna try to spray spray up the carb a bit. Wow.
card queen here. Stretch this out a little bit. Now, there's one side. There, now, check for spark. Get these plugs out. Look how rusty that one is. Oh my God. That does not look good. That one's kind of lean looking. <sighs> All right, I guess I'll uh, have to get some new plugs. Just gonna spray some of this lubricant down the cylinder. Oh, will it turn over? Could be locked up. Oh no, that's really locked up. Take the clutch cover off, see if I can get the clutch turning. bar on this uh, clutch bolt. All right, got a 19 mil here. Oh. It's moving. Let's get some more in, more lubricant down there. I got some heavy duty penetrating oil here. Freeze rusted parts. Some of that down there, some of that down there. Seems to be turning pretty good. All right, I got some new uh, BR ADS plugs here. Just gonna check for spark. The spark looks pretty good on this side. Plugs in.
put the gas tank back in. All right, I got about eight liters of uh, fresh premium in there. Got some Motomaster two cycle snowmobile oil. I'm gonna mix it at uh, 24 to one. 24 to one, it's about eight liters there. Mix it up. Gas cap back on. It's supposed to be a strap that hold that uh, goes on top of the tank here to hold it in. I'll have to go check one of my parts bins. Okay. Moment of truth. I put it on the bottle.
Look at all the oil I sprayed down the cylinders coming out of it. I'm just gonna take the throttle open. I'm just gonna give it a bunch of pulls and see, uh, see if it goes. Cover back on. Huh? Guess I'll uh, pull it out and. Uh, and maybe the next video you'll see, uh, maybe I'll go for a ride. Thanks for watching.